Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. We're doing this 100 day crafting challenge, day 34. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep. Progress is progress. We'll take it where we can get it. Okay. This is the little golden book that I introduced already. Um, we did this one. Uh, really cute little pocket, right? So I went ahead and put another one on this side because, <laughs> yeah, it's cute. So this one I'm going to leave blank because that gives writing space, drawing space, space to put stickers or be creative in whatever way the recipient wants to be. This one I'm going to put a slotted pocket on, <clears throat> on here to tuck things into, of course, right? So let's do this. I've got lots of plans, and I'll show you as we go. Excuse me, i got to get my... Um, we're just going to put some things in today, and you'll see sort of where my uh, thinking is for this. I just want it to be very interactive, very fun for whom, whomever gets this, right? Okay. A lot of times we get lost in making things very frilly and, um, you know, girly, which, you know, um, I'm pretty sure the majority of crafters, paper crafters are, you know, girls, but sometimes you want to make something really nice for a boy, um, or a guy, you know, this could be a great memory for uh, for uh, a grown fella who um, who liked Pokey, Pokey Puppy as a as a kid. I can't, you know, I can't talk and craft at the same time for some reason. It just <laughs> uh, it's a thing. Okay, so that gives a lot of room to put things in and lots and lots of room and I did go ahead and put the burlap ribbon across here because that will give that lots of extra strength on each one of them I did this slotted pocket um, using the um, my hometown um, background paper it's the grid one. So now I went ahead and put this pocket in too. So yeah. And this side, we'll take our we'll take our clips off as we go. This side I put the burlap ribbon down here and one of our stickers here. And I'm gonna put this as a side tuck pocket instead of having it go this way, right? <laughs> okay, so let's put this one in. It's just a lot of, um, sometimes you just go in and do some planning and you just, I don't know, um, figure things out. My, my glue's happy again. It's all bubbly. <laughs> uh, so, anyhow, yeah, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put it on here. This is my fold here, so I don't want it to be too close to that, but I want to have enough room to where it's um, got room to put things in over here, if that makes sense. So let me get that down there. Uh, I hope you made those stickers because they're really handy. And all the ones I have left over, I will have some left over. <laughs> I will. Um, I'm going to stick in some pockets for the recipient to, you know, use and decorate with. Right? It works. Even if they're the same ones, it doesn't matter. Um, you put them on different pages, and there you go. Ah, that's my philosophy anyways. So, yeah. I'm using the mostly the burlap ribbon on this because, yeah, I know. Eventually, I'm going to have to put lace somewhere. 
somewhere. But I'm trying to use just the burlap ribbon as the trim. And I think it's really nice. It's pretty. I use it a lot of times to make the the tie around parts and stuff like that for for even very frilly journals. So yeah, it works for me. And it's not very expensive. You can get a whole bunch of it on Amazon for not too bad a price. I've been using it for quite a long time. And when they're out of stock, I go, oh no, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's a, yeah. So it's going to have lots of pockets and interactive pieces in this one. Uh, I think that's, craft a lanch. I think that's going to make it really, really nice for whomever gets it, right? Okay, so this is the center spread. I'm going to take this out for now because uh, that's a lot of lumpy bumpy to be working on. I'm going to leave this one blank and this one blank. Again, you got to have some space for the recipient to do something in it, right? Besides just wiggle stuff in and out of pockets. Okay, so this is our, this is, I'm just knocking stuff here and there. This is our photo flip. So I put, <laughs> it's cute, right? Um, I did put the Velcro so that, you know, it will hold itself closed. Um, we made these earlier on in the, um, in the 100 day craft challenge. Um, so I'm going to put this down. I probably already got, yeah, I did. I'm going to put this down as a side pocket as well. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, I like. I like the interactivity of this one. I like it's going to be so fun. Um, and if you guys are crafting along, you're going to have an awesome, awesome, awesome journal. Oh, my happy glue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just get this one down. Our center spread is going to make things a little bit bulky, but. That's okay. You just adjust your spine. That's why I do my signatures first. And then I can just adjust my spine accordingly. And, <laughs> yeah. It won't be too... Mm, can't talk and do stuff at the same time. I already said that, didn't I? But it stands true every time. <laughs> okay. So... Now you've got that pocket behind. You've got all these flips in here. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now this one is another one that we did on the um, Craft Along This 100 Day Challenge. This is a, this is a, a fold uh, gusseted pocket. And this is one of our little envelopes yep it's an envelope and you can put little things in there see <laughs> cute huh i didn't have a puppy that was small enough. i may put some paw prints or something across there i mean you know it's just the beginning um i want to kind of put this sort of even with that because they are the same size and then this will fold out here for drawing or writing or putting pictures or whatever you want to put and it'll be a top loading pocket okay let's get this one on what a great centerfold huh and look all the stuff's already made because we already did that oops i'm not doing that because we already did it right we already got a whole bunch of these in our stash <laughs> or i do i hope you guys do uh so i'm trying to use the things that we've made uh to show you how to, you know, this is just one way to decorate them. You you go with the theme of your journal, right? Um, yeah, you go with the theme of your journal. And then you um, decorate accordingly. <laughs> and, you know, you've got all those blanks. 
This can be decorated with lace and putting all kinds of really girly embellishments on it as well. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to do some of that. I'm sure I am. Because, you know, I've done that in other journals that I've made and I've shown on here. The, um, let's see, the Lady Mary. Oh, my word. That one's very girly. And I, uh, I used a similar... Uh, element to this in that and it had lace on it and you know all kinds of stuff so I'm just saying it's thing get my happy glue to work here <laughs> uh, okay let's do this but yeah you've got all kinds of options if you've got them in your stash and they're blank okay um, then you you know exactly <laughs> You know exactly what you're going to do when you get to putting a journal together. You go, oh, I've already got that made. Just let me decorate it and stick it in. It's perfect, right? So, I think it is. I do. I think it is. Now, I may, I may, if needs be, put some Velcro here. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you go, oh, it's laying flat. It's fine. Um, it just depends, you know? Um, but, you know, you've got your little envelope pull thing there, your little mini pull, <laughs> little mini envelope. Uh, those were cute and lots of fun to make. So, and I made, this is the one that I didn't use the die cuts with, um, or the scoreboard. Just plain old fold it up and glue it together kind of thing. Uh, and that's fine. You don't have to have a whole bunch of fancy schmancy tools I like them. I really do. Uh, I can't help myself. Um, but you don't have to have them. Okay? <laughs> it's a thing. I got a new tool. I'm, I just got in and I'm like, oh, I've got to learn how to use that. And then I'll show you guys how to use it maybe. It's really big though. So anyways, it's, <laughs> it's really cool. Um, all right. Now, <clears throat> I do like my, my tools, toys. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. So, if I need to, and, you know, this is just suggestions if you need to, you can put a Velcro here to hold it down, and you can also put a Velcro in under here to hold that down, and then it's completely flat. Okay? Now, this may flatten out as the journal gets, you know, and it'll squash it on its own. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. We've got, we've got work to do, guys. This is just one signature. Gosh. Okay, here's the other one here that's going on this one. This one will be uh, left blank because, you know, that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> I need to put a clip on that. All right. Here we go. I just put it all the way around as one continuous thing. I like that really, the really narrow... Um, uh, double stick tape, you can do that with. Now, the thicker, the wider, um, not thicker, but wider, uh, not so much. But the really narrow ones, you can do that. You just go right around that corner and it's fine. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been just sitting up there watching TV and putting these things together, putting the ribbon on there and doing all that stuff that that needed to be done, right? <laughs> so, let's pull this in and put this on. Um, did -dum, did -dum. I, that's my fold right here. I know you probably can't see it, but I can. So, I want it to be there-ish. Straight-ish as well. Before I press it down, I'm going to make sure I've got it good and straight. Isn't that just adorable? I mean, who wouldn't like to get this? You don't have to be a boy to get this one. It's it's pretty anyways. Um, and we've got the, like I said, the burlap ribbon across these so that... Now, I gave these as a, a, a freebie template uh, not too long ago. So, if you want to do slotted pockets, you don't have to have a fancy anything. Just use that template and, and go for it, all right? That's the one we just put in. Okay, let's move along. We've got, I put this pocket in here, okay? <laughs> Those stickers work out so good, guys. I hope you're doing them because 
the matte paper isn't that expensive and it lasts for an age and a day if you're not doing it as a business. Now I do a lot of stickers anymore because I'm sort of trying to think maybe that will be a thing. But anyway, so we're going to put this pocket on here. <laughs> it's just cute, right? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to, I have to enjoy the process, right? <laughs> I And I do. <laughs> I hope you guys do. It's just a lot of fun going through figuring out what goes where and what will fit here and what will work there and, and what won't, you know. Um, my original intent was for these to be, you know, straight up pockets like so, but it wouldn't work that way. So I just simply thought outside the box a little bit and put them this way. Because this way, they work. And I think they're really cute. I really do. So, we've got that one down there. Let me give it a roll because it's a little lumpy bumpy working on top of everything. But when, that's the way it goes when you're starting to get your signature sort of finished-ish. You know, it's a thing. So, yeah. yep, yep, yep. But if it's inside and you've already got it encased into a, a journal cover, ooh, that gets difficult. So, as I said, this is why I like to do them outside the journal cover where I can move things around easier. And, I mean, I can take this signature all apart and uh, do stuff and then put it back together and it's all good. You can't do that if you've already got it sewn into a, a journal cover. It's all stuck in its ways and complicated. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. But, yeah, I do, I do enjoy the process of putting them together, building them, designing them. <sighs> and, look, this is one of the easiest ways to do a, a journal. If you're new, for sure... This is a great way to do, you know, get tiptoe into making a journal, right? All right, now we have got all that done. <laughs> Isn't that really pretty, though? Now, I still haven't made my big pocket here because I'm going to make one to cover all that gobbledygook up. And this one's going to be blank. And there we've got that. We've got our pocket here and a pocket there. We've got this is going to be blank. And we've got our center spread. Woo! Really nice. Really just amazing. You know, all that stuff to work with. And that's going to be blank. I'm going to put Velcro on that. I know I am. Okay, and then we've got our other big uh, slotted pocket. Blank. Po uh, pocketed. It was a pocketed journal card originally, but I'm having it as a pocketed pocket. And this one's a pocketed pocket as well. And this one right now is blank. But I may do something on this. Or I may leave that one blank and do something on this. I haven't decided completely yet. I'll probably do something over here. And leave the inside one for decorative purposes of the journal recipient. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, again, these papers are... Um, from the hometown journal background pages, this one was the um, my favorite background pages. This is one of those two. I'm just using those ones. Um, use whatever you have if you have um, tea dyed papers or whatever scrapbook paper, whatever you have. These are one ten pound um, cardstock that I'm putting in here. This is book page it's not very uh thick so you have to kind of i don't know give it a little extra by putting some strength in with it and then that will you know that will be in that okay so now that's one signature that's almost done almost i've still got a couple things to do with it um and that's day 34 of our 100 day crafting challenge done we're gonna have to have a party or something when we get done with this i just know it <laughs> okay 
All right. This is just an awesome... Get you a little golden book. You don't have to do the puppy one, but, you know, that's what the stickers go with. I'm just saying. Um, get you a little golden book and come craft along with me. I've got some things that I've been working on. This is one of our expandable pockets, but that's going to go in the other signature. This one I've done, this is the little pocketed tag because it's got a little pocket in it. Um, I've put together some more things. I'm just working on stuff. This is going to be in there, but I haven't decorated it yet, so there you go. This is really cute, huh? Well, it's a coin envelope. <laughs> we made these, right? We have a bunch of them in our stash. But isn't that adorable? <laughs> Come on, man. That's really cute. Now, I haven't decorated this one yet, but it's going in there. You know, you remember these, right? It's our hidden secret, you know, thingy tag. This is our little, uh, we made these. Now, it's decorated, and you've got, you know, that. And as I said, I would put something on the back to cover up the, you know, because I, I don't want it to be showing. So, a couple of little puppies on there. Good to go, right? <laughs> These are fun. Now that I'm starting to put them together and decorate things, this is the book that I'm working on with. And as I've said before, it's like getting a journal kit. You buy one of these little books, you can get them for two, three, four dollars, depending on where you get them and whatever. I got mine off Amazon, which is a thing. Um, you get this, and it's a journal kit in itself. You got the book board, you got the book pages. You just add some stuff with it and voila right okay so i'm gonna quit rambling on one signature is almost done i've got a couple more things to do and i'll show you when i do them i just got to get them prepped to show you to do anyways and then we'll start working on the other one because it's going to be different than this one you don't want them to be the exact same right <laughs> so you don't want anybody to get boring with it or get bored with it yeah that's what i'm trying to say okay now that I can't talk straight, I'm just going to go. <laughs> uh, day 34, done. You guys take care. Please like and subscribe, pretty please. Thanks for watching. TTFN.